if you have a sweet tooth, it might not be something you can control with willpower. In fact, you almost certainly can't because you're probably being controlled by the microbes in your gut. So let me explain. There was a recent study done out of Caltech where they took mice and they purposely wiped out certain strains of bacteria in the mice's gut or their microbiome to see what that would do with their food and eating habits because we've known for a while that the makeup of the human gut can change or how we suffer from anxiety, depression, stress like that because we know it has a big control on the brain but it's also been shown in a lot of different ways that it looks like when we crave sugar, sweets, bad foods, it's certain bacteria in our gut causing that, that craving. So these Caltech researchers wiped out different strains of the mice's bacteria, and there was two strains in particular they found when they wiped it out with very narrow uh, antibiotics. Those mice did some interesting things. They would not overeat their normal mouse chow compared to their colleagues that didn't have their guts. Uh, wiped out by antibiotics, they would eat about the same amount. But if sugary or sweet foods were put in front of them, the more palatable foods that are gonna set off the reward centers in the brain, they would overeat on those every single time, up to 50% more than what the other mice did. Then when researchers put the, well, refilled those strains that they'd wiped out with antibiotics, the mice stopped overindulging in those sugary sweet foods and went back to eating the same amount as the mice that didn't have those bacteria wiped out. So once again, it proves that the makeup of our gut is going to control a lot of the decisions and thoughts that we have. It's really quite crazy like that. So we cannot ignore that piece. And the problem is it becomes a very vicious cycle. So if you eat a lot of sugar, you are going to cause leaky gut inflammation, which means your microbiome is going to get out of balance. That's going to lead to more of the so-called bad or pathogenic bacteria moving in or a wiping out of some good bacteria that we need. But either way, once we get out of balance, now our gut is hijacking our brain in not so good a way. So then you crave more sugary sweet foods, so you eat more of them, which gets the gut even more out of balance, and now this cycle continues. So anytime someone thinks they're gonna get rid of the, these things out of their diet with willpower, they're probably deluding themselves, partly because of what their gut's telling them to do, and partly because these food companies spend millions and millions and millions of dollars on R&D to get the right coloring on their package, the right texture with the food, the right tastes, the right everything with it to try and trick your brain into being addicted to it. Hey there, if you're struggling with gut health, I just wanted to let you know about my free Facebook gut health support group. You'll see it on the screen here. Just click the link and you can join that. We cover all sorts of more in-depth tips on what testing to do, how to deal with underlying biotoxins, things like that. So jump in the group, I'd love to have you in there. Anyway, back to the video. So you're really up against a lot of battles here that you won't win. So you must, if you feel like you have a sweet tooth, you have to get rid of some of these foods out of your house, number one. Then slowly over time, you have to start changing your diet to have more good quality protein and good quality fats, because it's gonna fill you up faster than all the other garbage. And then you're not gonna be hungry as often, and your brain's gonna start craving that more, and it's gonna help your microbiome reset and re-equilibriize, if that's a word, find equilibrium, and then you'll have less of those cravings. And now you've got a cycle going that way instead of the vicious cycle going back the other way. This is also where sometimes probiotics are needed. If some of you have seen my video on why you shouldn't take probiotics every day, this is one of those times where you might need to, but you need to do a stool test first to find out where are you lacking certain strains then you can refill with the right probiotics while also changing your diet, changing your behaviors by getting all this stuff out of your house. Then we've also got to take care of the mental stress, exercise, hydrate properly, all the things I talk about in another one of my videos where we talk about the five foundational things you need to do to improve your gut health. So that might be a good one to watch next if you do deal with these sugar cravings or you think you're a sweet tooth.